Hey, good morning everybody. Bartman here again from the GL1800 Riders Board with another quick video tutorial. Um, what prompted me to make this this morning was uh, one of the guys up on our uh, message board posted a question saying that he was heading to Colorado this, week this weekend and he was looking at riding Highway 67 from Sedalia to Woodland Park and he was wondering about the road that loops back up to the north. Uh, Google labels it as County Road 22, Forest Road 300, and Rampart Range Road, and he wanted to know if it was blacktop or dirt. So what I wanted to show you is a really cool feature in Google. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to search for Sedalia, Colorado, and there it is, third one down on the list, so I'll press enter, and the map for Sedalia, Colorado comes up, so I'm going to click on it. <coughs> and move this over a little bit. I'm going to hide this uh, left bar and now you can see Sedalia, Colorado. And so what he was talking about doing is coming down Highway 67 here and you can see Highway 67 comes back down through here. Nice, Looks like a nice little windy road. Comes down through Deckers and if we keep going on down 67 it comes down here to Woodland Park right here and so I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit what he was interested in is this County Road 22 that turns into Rampart Range Road and Forest Road 300 and he wanted to know if this road is dirt or if it's blacktop so let me show you a really cool feature that Google does so let me zoom up here on County Road 22 and you see this little orange guy right here on the left hand side? I'm going to click and I'm going to start to drag him onto the screen. And you notice how the roads turned blue. Well anywhere that the road is outlined in blue means that that road has a street view. In other words, somebody has traveled down, to, traveled down the road and taking pictures of the road. So I'm going to drop him onto the road and watch what happens now. It actually shows me what the road looks like. And I can click and drag and I can get a complete 360 degree view of the road. Now it's possible that this road was paved or has been paved since these pictures were taken but chances are it hasn't been. Another thing you can do to rotate is you can take your mouse and just go right up here to this little N and you can spin it around. So now this is north up and you can keep spinning it around to move your picture around. You can also click, uh, drag the picture up and down. If I click on this, now I have split my view. So I have the map down here on the bottom and the street view up on the top. So if I want to zoom out, for example, and I want to see what the road looks like a little bit further north, now I can drag my little orange guy and I can move him further up the road. And then it changes the view. And you can see that this is a dirt road. Drag him up here a little bit further on the road. And again, it is still a dirt road. Drag him on up just a little bit further. And if I hold it up here near the top, you can see the map will pan with me as I move it. So let's go and drop him right up here. I need to pan around here a little bit. See, you can see that it is a dirt road. And to show you, compare this against like Highway 67 over here, you can look at this and you can see that this is a paved road. So anyway, just a really quick, quick little uh, tutorial to show you one of the really cool features of Google Maps. Hope this helps.